The Tommy and Trap Master of Ben's Atomic the Tank Engine, Episode 72, The Big Lincoln Accident. One day, Lincoln was resting in the siding when Nia, the African tank in it, pulled alongside him to Lincoln. Hi there, Lincoln, said Nia. Oh, hi, Lincoln, said... Uh, oh... Hi, Nia, said Lincoln. Oh, I just want to tell you that of the top and how I want you to take a small goods train today. He's building something of a brand new turntable. A brand new turntable? This seems pretty interesting. Oh, it sure is. That's all. He just came to ask me to tell you. And Nia chuckled away. A new turntable, said Lincoln fought happily. This could be exciting. Soon, Lincoln was chopping down the track, making sure that he's getting the supplies there for the new turntable. However, on the way, where he stopped at a red signal, he recognized a whistle. Oh great, here we go again. It was none other than Charlie, the playful purple tank engine himself. Uh, hello there, Lincoln. How you doing? Not now, Charlie, said Lincoln. I need to get supplies for the new turntable right on time. Oh, ha, ha, sure you will. But why you stop here, I got a joke to tell you. Charlie, please. Your jokes are night but too old and too childless. This cause tried to get her. Come on, this is not too childish. Joke can never be childish. Besides, I can tell you this, Lincoln. If you, um, if you can tell a joke, then that means I will never put a joke on you, never ever again. Lincoln sighed. I mean, I do like jokes every now and again, but not like every day. You start to remind me of someone. All right, I tell you one joke to you. Um, why does Howell does not fly in the sky when he's not flying? Um, I don't know. He asks. Well, that's easy. He's a, 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 a copter. A get it? A cup chopter? Lincoln began to laugh. <laughs> that is kind of funny, but not too funny. But it's a dear, I would tell a joke to somebody, and guess what? You will not make a joke ever again. Chai began to smile. I knew someone liked my joke one day. The singer turned to green, and Lincoln chucked away. Soon, Lincoln arrived to construct him of the new turntable that was being made. It was being right next to on the main line. Lincoln was pretty excited. The new turntable was near almost completion. Lincoln arrived with his two slate trucks. Then, Duck was showing the new ballast for the new turntable. Then it comes Lincoln's chance. Hey, Duck. What is it, Lincoln? Can you see I'm busy? Duck, look up there. How is up in the sky? Well, well, said Duck. But then there was trouble. As Duck looked, he wasn't paying attention and it accidentally hit his truck down the turntable. He fell off the tracks. He didn't land the turntable well. He went across Lincoln and then the world and cell right in the middle of the main line. Duck was in big trouble. But, there was worse to come. It was Gordon, falling down with the express. What the? What are you doing on the main track? Stop! Gordon applied the brakes, but it was too late. He slammed right into Duck, and the express went flying off the track. Then Hero came along. He, he saw the mess too. He applied the brakes quickly, but it was too late for him, and he slammed and fell right into the mess, too. 
But the woods was not over yet. Douglas was coming on the opposite direction. He saw the mess too, but he tried to break. He ran on into the pile of mess too. It was the worst mess of engines, rolling stock, coaches, and trucks that the world had ever seen in its whole entire life. Soon after the incident was almost over, Sir Thompson had a live on Winston. He was very cross. What happened here? He asked. This like the biggest accident the world had ever seen in his whole entire life. This one the biggest accident I have ever seen, cried Winston. What happened to you all? Gordon, Hero, Douglas, Duck, are you guys okay? We're, we're fine, said Gordon, but what caused this to happen? Like, I was falling down with the express and I saw Duck and I crashed. Duck, explain this what happened. Well, said Duck, it all happened when I was shining the ballast for the new turntable right near the main line was being built. I was shining the ballast, but Lincoln said this, how was up in the sky? I got distracted, and then, well... The trucks fell down to the turntable, and luckily for me, I didn't end up falling down to the turntable well, but I ended up derailing myself in here for some reason. Then Gordon came along, and then he crashed right into me. And then I came along, cried Hero. I crashed into the two of them. Don't blame me, cried Douglas. I was trying to stop, but I fell off the track again. At least my ten nose okay. Anyone to Winston, it's okay. At least you're all okay, but we need to get you all to the steamworks. That's right, Winston, said the top and hat. And this reminds me, Lincoln, did you did this in the first place? Lincoln stared. W well, cried Lincoln. Well, it's just, um, Charlie told me a joke earlier and I was sick and tired of his jokes, and he told me that if I did tell a joke, he would never tell jokes on me, never ever again. Ugh, of course, Charlie, that purple tank in it with the number 14. He could be, what to say, stupid at times. Well, said the top and hat, I'm not that surprised, Lane, that you and Charlie were the cause for the accident. Well, me? I I didn't really start all this. It was Charlie. Well, look what happened to all us in here. Well, explain the joke we explained to Duck earlier just now. But Gordon, are there any patterns inside your coaches? No, except for the god. Oh no, Sir Winton. Let us hope that the god is okay. Well, we better think so too, said the top and hat. In the meantime, out, someone was sending Harpy and the breakdown train to clean up the mess. Well, I must tell the end that they must take a different way if they want to child the main line. Well, have a good day. And the top and hat left on Winston. All engines were angry and stared at Lincoln. Lincoln had zero words what to say and he didn't know what else to do. But, I'm sorry to say that, that the guard didn't turn out alright. And unfortunately, a couple days later, the hospital claimed that he was dead. All the engines were upset that Lincoln had killed the guard. One day, as Lincoln was backing up to a, a passenger train, Donald was there. Well, 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 look who it is. Isn't the one who caused the big one who caused the big accident? Lincoln sighed. If anyone you should be mad at is Charlie, he said. I can care less it was Charlie, that playful purple tanking with another 14. Besides, you're the one who caused that major accident, and my twin Dolly was involved with it, and he's now at the Steamworks. Now there's nobody to take the express, nobody to run the little western besides uh, me, and no other to pull like freight trains. 
This called Linking to get Derry hurt. He never meant to cause the accident, but it was Charlie's fault that started on. He didn't know what else to do. He decided to take out Tony. He left the station and left his past his coat is right on the platform. Lincoln, said the top and hat. Where are you going? Please, come back here this w at once. But Lincoln was gone. So top and hat stared at Donald. Donald, what do you do that made Lincoln leave the station? Well, I might have said that he was a disgrace. And he would have wanted to call that accident. Well, I know that you're angry that he called the accident, but that doesn't mean I'd take it, your anger out on him. Should I go after him, sir? Asked Donald. No. Leave Lincoln be. He might come back. He might show up eventually. But however, unfortunately for the engines, Lincoln did never ever show up. What if he could have went up somewhere like onto the mainland? Asked Percy. Don't be silly, Percy, said Ryan. He could never end up in there. He could be somewhere like, somewhere better right now. Ugh, said Diesel. I'm glad that that stupid. I'm glad that stupid Owen tank and it's now gone. Arthur was quite shocked. Diesel, what do you mean? What are you talking about? What do I mean and what I do talk about, said Diesel, is that that engine was nothing but a useless pile of scrap metal. Besides, he was pretty much annoying anyway, and I'm glad that he's gone. Don't say that, said Paxton. He was nice, and I didn't know we used to talk a whole lot every time I see him. I'm sure I'm gonna miss Lincoln now. Ugh. Paxton, what up with you like in steam engines? You should know by now that steam engines are nothing but filthy and useless. We are revolutionary. No, so Ryan. Come on, Diesel. The steam for this Diesel thing nonsense drama has to stop. We are equally useful as well as Diesels. Besides, your Diesel are equally as useful as steams and electric. I don't care, said Diesel. Oh, what I'm happy for is that that Lincoln engine is now gone. Huh, I hope he can ride and scrap whatever he is. That's a horrible thing to say, said Arthur. Well, I haven't had no time with in arguing. Diesel, you want to talk trash about Lincoln? Go somewhere else. Diesel rolled his eyes and he, he left with the conversation. Paxson was getting to feel worried. Lincoln was one his good friend he used to have, but now Lincoln was gone. All that Paxson could do now was hope that Lincoln was safe and okay, wherever he is.